murder of a Warren County teenager, investigators have called it brutal and premeditated. And today, jury selection continued as one of the two suspects is set to go on trial. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson was in court today in Lebanon. And Karen, two full days now of selecting a jury and still have not seated one. That's right. No, not yet, Mike. And it'll probably be sometime tomorrow afternoon before one is seated. The defendant in this case, Austin Myers, is just 19 years old, and this is a capital case. And it's more difficult to get jurors seated, uh, the correct jurors who are qualified to make a decision in a death penalty case. That's why the voir dire process here is taking a little bit longer. If Austin Myers is found guilty of aggravated murder, his life could be on the line. We will be asking for death for this individual. And it would be up to 12 jurors to decide whether this teen lives or dies. You understand that if, if you convict of a capital murder offense, that death isn't automatic. So much of the questioning during these last two days of jury selection centered around people's beliefs. Is it fair to say that you have a religious or moral objection to the death penalty? And whether potential jurors thought 19 was too young to be sentenced to death. This is truly a life and death matter. Extra security will be on hand throughout the trial. Officials say they received credible threats against Myers and co defendant Timothy Mosley. Investigators say last winter, the two went to the Waynesville McDonald's where they hatched a plan to kill 18 year old Navy recruit Justin Back, then went to Lowe's and bought materials to make a choking device. They're then accused of choking and stabbing Back inside his Wayne Township home before dumping his body in Preble County and firing rounds into it. And I'm told there were about 120 people in the jury pool. Jury selection will continue tomorrow morning, and they're hoping to get to opening statements by tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. As you first saw on WLWT.com, the co defendant, Timothy Mosley, has agreed to testify against Myers in exchange for avoiding a possible death sentence.